folks gonna welcome you back to the channel green country baits here we've got a wiggle wart we're gonna do a paint session we got a zombie crawl pattern called zombie vector so we're gonna get right to it I'm not really liking that burn orange. So I'm just gonna try to change this pattern up a little bit, but it's not getting what I want. I, I, I want to leave that uh, red oxide as our lighter color and then go over it. So we're going to go back to our burn number. That's what I generally use. Get a little bit darker.
Okay, we're going to get our mask off. Quick heat set. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to brighten it up. Oh, man. We got to fix that. <clears throat> we're getting my brown down there. So... I don't want to get any of that. Let's get back on task here. So now nah, we're going to brighten this thing up. Golly. Hope you can see that, that my hand in the way here. But. We're just, we got to get in pretty close. Just doing some random stuff to break up that color. A little bit darker green of uh, leaf green. over the fluorescent green. I think I can take this off now. And instead of having that real white like that, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of fluorescent just to break it up. But I don't wanna do away with this wording. That is an old original wiggle water. And my guy out in Maryland ain't gonna be too happy if I do that. So, 
to load a little leaf or a little fluorescent green up. Just go real light. Yeah. What do you think? Look good. Do a little more splatter up here. All we got left is a little black. A little bit of details. I'm gonna go with a just a transparent black. And I'm just mixing that right in over the top of that. It'll cover it up. And let's crank that pressure down. I gotta make some. Finish the top off <clears throat> in the zombie vector. Whoa. The zombie vector. Go over these eyes real quick. Brushing, cooperating with me. Stained water, no problem. Kind of like the apocalypse top, a little bit different. So colors going into this is obviously a white base coat. Uh, we went back with our red oxide, then our burnt umber, then we uh, covered the belly and some highlighted spots on the sides of the bait with fluorescent green. Then to darken it up and just kind of give it some irregular patterning to make it look like a zombie, some leaf green. Uh, then we got our transparent black. So there you have the zombie vector, guys. I hope you liked this pattern. If you did, make sure right now, give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. That all helps us out um, extremely well. And uh, if you're interested in uh, learning how, make sure you check out the playlist. I've got a complete tutorial uh, for learning how to get into custom painting, lure artwork. Until next week, you're in Country Baits.
signing out.